down. I'm a pediatrician in Covina. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> well, now, really, what we need is an obstetrician, don't we, first of all? Well, we'll use him. Are you an obstetrician? No, not quite. Almost there. Well, that's near enough, year. isn't it? <laughs> Close enough. I'll handle it. I'll Within take care of the year? baby. He can take care of the mother. Yeah, that, near enough. Close enough. For Anybody good. else in the medical profession? All of us. Everybody. All of you? What do you do, Trish? I'm a nurse. Carolyn? Medical student at SC. And Larry? SC medical student. Mm -hmm. Well, there you are. Yeah. Hey. They are uh, currently appearing in the series House Calls. <laughs> Ready? Let's play a few. Come on. One hundred people surveyed. Top five answers are on the board. You have to try and find the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name the state where you'd expect an acre of land is the most expensive. Yeah. California. California? <laughs> Number one answer. We'll play. We're gonna play it. All right. All right. Very good, huh? Another How year, huh? Another One year? One more year. Okay, then you'll be able to buy some land. <laughs> state, Not in that state. Uh, state where you'd expect an acre of land is the most um, expensive. How about New York? May we see New York? Good. Hi, Chris. Welcome. Thank you. What do you think? What's I state? think Florida. Ah, any of our 100 people say Florida? Hey, right. get right. Hi, Hi. Welcome. Thank you. The state where you'd expect an acre of land is the most expensive. I think probably Hawaii. Aha. Good. Hawaii. Good to see you, all right? One more clean sweep. You got it all. What do you think? New Hampshire. Okay. <laughs> New Hampshire's there. Well, because of the primaries, makes it very rare. New Hampshire's there. You got it all. New Hampshire. First strike. Three of those, they get a chance to steal. Mary. Ohio. Okay, let's Good take in. a look. Ohio. <laughs> Only good if it's up there, Bill. True, that's true. How about Oregon? Ah, no, it good does sound it. like you did it. Oregon's there, you've got it all. If not, Hoshi's got a chance to steal. Oregon! <laughs> not there. Dorothy, my darling, $74 waiting for you. What do you say? Texas, Texas, Colorado. How about Texas? Texas. All right. <laughs> Texas. Texas is there, you get $74. If not, give it to the Haynes family. Texas! Was, uh, was this based, this question, was it based on an actual study? You're right, based on facts. It was? What was the number one answer? Not necessarily in our survey. The actual answer, New Jersey. Uh, New Jersey? Yeah. New Jersey. I heard they were giving land away in New Jersey. <laughs> New Jersey, are you sure? Yeah, I'm always sure. He's never lied to me before. We'll be back right after that. <laughs> Here's today's Family Feud survey question. Can you guess the top five answers? Stick around for the results right after this.
Here's today's survey question and the top five answers. How many did you get? Stay tuned for more Feud right here on Family Feud Classic. Two brand new families, and the Hoshis have the money. $74 there, nothing there. Bill, come on. Oh, is that a new technique you had there? Nope, going just a little sleight of hand. All right. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers are on the board. Here's the question. What information is given by the tags on new articles of clothing? Yeah. Uh, how to wash it. How to wash. <laughs> Number one answer. Very good, darling. Very proud of it. Thank you. In fact, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Don't arigato. Or arigato. He's cutting things out of paper. <laughs> How are you? Fine, thank you. How about the price tag? Price tag. Yeah. 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 The price tag. Yeah. Very good. Let me see. Is it Susie? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love the way you spell that, too. S-U-S-I. Very nice. Saves an E for someone else that's coming along. How about the size? Good. Good. Excellent Good. answer. Right. Yeah. Excellent. I'm very proud of you. You're rolling along here. Let's take a look for it. Susie said size. Thank you. Three dollars. Okay. Is this your first little one? No, it's the second. You know how it goes then? <laughs> uh, do you have a little boy or a little girl? I have a little boy that's a year and a half at home. And what's his name? His name is Brent. Brent, a good Japanese name. <laughs> <laughs> Brent Wood. <laughs> what information is given by the tags on new articles of clothing? It usually says, like, what they're made out of. They so the type of fabric. Exactly. Well, that's good. <laughs> So yes. I gotta tell you that your family plays very well. You should be very proud of them. Thank you. You probably are, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah, you were. <laughs> um, let's see. Who's the one uh, you mentioned? Your son in the audience? Yes. What's his name? Ron. What does Ron do? <laughs> he he's a student at Long Beach State. Oh, what's mm -hmm. he studying there? Music. Oh. oh. Yes. <laughs> Gonna play it, write it, or sing it? Both. Uh, oh. <laughs> 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 three, <then. laughs> if I give you three things, you can't say both. I can't. Okay. Well, it doesn't work. Plus one. Both plus one. Mm -hmm. So he's going to write. Hopefully. Yeah, well, I think that's been written, hasn't it? <laughs> that song, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh. <laughs> both, eh? What information is given by the tags on new articles of clothing, darling? Well, try the manufacturers. The yeah, good, 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 good. Who made it? Yes, yeah, yeah, good. Right Jody. Yeah. 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 J.C. Penny. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Goodwill Industry. <laughs> they do some nice stuff. Not too back. tight. Yes. Of course, nothing wrong in it at all. Take a little look up here for the manufacturer's name. You have a clean sweep and a great big lead in the game. If it's not there, however, it's just your first strike. The manufacturer's name. <laughs> Very good. Ron, your mom's doing okay. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Had a very nice lady, uh, Come out of the audience and rub in the fact that we lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers <laughs> and gave us a souvenir. Of course, that's the terrible towels that beat us all out. It was the towels that beat us, you know, Dorothy. Right. And this hat, and I wear it with pride because the Rams are moving to Anaheim, so to hell with them. <laughs> 172 there, nothing there, let's go! <laughs> No, if they'd been loyal to Los Angeles, I wouldn't have worn this, but they're moving on down there. Right. 
Well, it's about 30 miles, huh? It's the most yardage they've made in a long time. I know that. <laughs> You gotta get in this game, Dollar. I'm trying, the first I'm Stanley trying. Stanley to get 300 points will play for the money. Dollar values are doubled, 100 people surveyed. The top six answers are on the board. Here's the question. Name an occupation whose vehicle always has to be ready to go. Yes. Taxi. Driver. Taxi! <laughs> Two answers will beat it, Trish. Ambulance. Ambulance? You got it, what are you gonna do? They're gonna play, my darling. I thought ambulance would be up there. Very good. Come on, Susie. 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 See how you look in the hair. <laughs> Little close up of her. She looks cute. You got it. That uh, Terry Bradshaw. I mean, the team is great, but Bradshaw <laughs> is fantastic, isn't he? Isn't he? He's superb. Can I have another kiss for my friend Lisa? Oh, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Where is Lisa, by the way? Because uh... Lisa's in Loma Linda. Oh, that's too far. <laughs> you deliver it. Loma okay. Linda sounds like a long way away. Where is it? It's by San Bernardino and Highland. That's where I live in Highland. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Bit too far for me, dear. Uh, <laughs> I get queasy about going over to the valley. Uh, <laughs> name an occupation whose vehicle always has to be ready to go. A semi-truck driver. Ah. Good answer. Yeah, yeah, What do you do? I work for the half and half uh, people. Semi. <laughs> semi-truck. <laughs> Stop there. First strike. Terry, don't. Well, I got it. What? It's got to be a fireman. That sounds like a good answer. <laughs> Terry on the fireman. What do you think? A bus driver. Okay, may we see a bus driver? Oh, Second Nancy. strike. Nancy. A policeman has to get oh, the robber. Right. That's a good <laughs> Policeman. Answer. Yeah. <laughs> policeman! Good answer. Good answer. Very good. That's the way to do it. What do you think? An occupation. How about a doctor? If he has an emergency, yeah, he has like to get good. going. Yep. All right. My buddy, Dr. Woo Woo! Do you realize there's only one answer between you and the right to play? And living, for $5, too. thousand dollars I have to face my family, too. Well, not at all, not at all. Because if they get a chance, they have to steal it. They have to give me the correct answer. An occupation whose vehicle always has to be ready to go. Three seconds. Okay. Here's a chance for you, Haynes. $158 up there waiting to be okay. stolen. Anytime now. Okay. okay. Come on. Paramedic. 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 Traveling salesman. Paramedic. What do you think? Is paramedic and ambulance driver, or else we want paramedic. He's not an ambulance. Paramedic. Right. Paramedic. 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 Paramedic is up there. You get the 158. If not, who oh, she's got it, and we'll play for five thousand dollars. Paramedic. <laughs> what was your other answer? I don't know why they will. I don't know. Let's say it. Number four. I just told him salesman was no good. I did. I said, why would he want to be, you know, why would he always have to go? Well, I thought paramedic was, would have been an excellent. That was, yeah. Well, that's uh, very sorry to say there's no money there. Oh, we do have nice prizes for you. We Nobody thank you. Kiss. Well, of course, I'll come right down there and I'll take my hat off as I kiss you. Thank you. I'm very proud that you all are working so hard. Thank you, my darling. In the field of human endeavor. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you much. Thank you, who will put two people? Come on, come on. Who's first? I need two, two people. You first? All right. Terry's going first right after we watch this.
Family Feud Classic presents Huddle Talk. All right, we'll pass it. Okay, one back there. Talk it over. Let's pretend like we're talking. Is Richard's flower fake? This carpet is filthy. I'm hungry. When's lunch? Grandpa, no napping. Okay. <gasps> broccoli. Broccoli. Stop saying broccoli. You're not the boss of me. Uh, you need a breath mint. <laughs> I can't get up. Oh, oh. Go, go. Join the conversation on Family Feud Classic. Watch now. Whopper, Whopper, build your Whopper Barbecue, bacon, more cheese, no shocker However you like to top your Whopper You know what we'll say My baby's got a sensitive stomach. My baby needs something for her skin. My baby, too. Have you tried Hill's Science Diet, Sensitive Stomach and Skin? It's gentle on dogs' tummies and helps nourish their skin and coats. Hill Science Diet is one of the many anythings PetSmart has for your dog's unique needs. Anything else? Where's the grooming? Fancy treats. Do you have any, like, top hats or little monocles or anything? Anything for you. PetSmart. Anything for pets. It's nothing. Sounds like something. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, unsystemic diarrhea. Pepto Bismol coats and soothes for fast relief when you need it most. At Olive Garden, our cheese will make you melt and leave you bubbling with joy. Best part is, it keeps coming till you say when. Olive Garden, we're all family here. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries has chairs and recliners to fit every need, including naps. It's the four-day sale. Get up to 35% off, plus 0% interest financing for 36 months. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. At Dots, an ordinary pretzel just isn't enough. So they add savory seasoning and tempting buttery flavor into every delicious twist. Now that's enough to make you order a special delivery. That seems like a lot. They're really good. Dots, sensationally seasoned pretzels. You okay? Mm-hmm. I just have the paramedics standing there just in case. <laughs> okay. Because if you win, I don't want you jumping up and down now. Okay. All right? Mm-hmm. We just want you to be okay. Whose idea was it to get on the show? Nancy's. Yeah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, Patty is uh, off stage, earphones on. She can't hear us. And did you watch the Super Bowl, by the way? No, I didn't. You didn't? <laughs> I was a toss up whether I was going to watch that or behind the green door, and I'd seen that, so I thought, <laughs> why not? So, we're going to get a big score and give Patty a nice surprise? Yep. That's all right. Give me 15 seconds, please. Origato. I <laughs> love it if you say a few words in your own. Name something from home that people take on long trips. Suitcase. A sport that requires a good arm. Uh, p uh, baseball. Something girls have for their dolls. Doll clothes. Something made with ice cream. Floats. A noisy form of transportation. A train. Turn around, Gary. <laughs> Name something from home that people take on long trips. You said suitcase. I took my suitcase to Hawaii this year. I've never <laughs> been there and uh, survey said five. Sport that requires a good arm, you said. Baseball survey said. There you go. Warning. Something girls have for their dolls, you said. Clothes survey said. Yeah. On, you got 86. Something made with ice cream, you said. Floats. For the rose ball and the rose day parade. <laughs> They're all made of ice cream and flowers. Survey said. Five, you have 91. Noisy form of transportation. You said a train, did you not? Mm -hmm. Survey said. Yeah. 125. Clear the board, please. Very good. That's a good. Here's Patty. She did very well. Yeah, 
he did. He has one, uh, 125. You need 75 points for $5,000. I'll ask you the same questions <clears throat> I asked your sister. You cannot duplicate her answers if you do. You hear this? I say try again. You give me another answer, okay? All right. All right. Please remind everyone the answers Terry gave us. Give me 20 seconds on the clock. Thank That's you. for luck. All right, got them. Name something from home that people take on long trips. Luggage. Try right, again. Um, uh, pass. A sport that requires a good arm. Uh, football. Something girls have for their dolls. Clothes. Try right, again. Uh, bed, bed. Something made with ice cream. Um, float. Try right, again. Uh, Sundays. A noisy form of transportation. Motorcycle. Turn right around. Something from home that people take on long trips. You passed on that because you doubled up with the luggage. Pillow was number one. Oh, people take pillows, well, yeah. Right. A sport that requires a good arm. You said Foot football. Game. Survey said seven. Oh. Baseball was number one. You got 132. Something girls have for their dolls. You said beds. Survey said eight. <laughs> Clothes was the number one answer. And then something made with ice cream. You said Mondays? Sunday. Oh, Sunday. I mean, the day late. <laughs> Survey said. Oh, yeah! yeah that was good. <laughs> 43 points. Sunday was the number one answer. And then a noisy form of transportation. You said. A motorcycle. A motorcycle. Now, the number one answer was a jet plane. But you need 17 points for $5,000, and motorcycles are noisy. Mm -hmm. Survey set! Oh! You did it! Fantastic! We will be back right after this. The top answer is on the board. See if you got it when we return. How are you? Hi, thank you. You've got five thousand three hundred and thirty dollars. Praise the Lord. Yeah. We love you. We'll see you here on the feud. Bye bye. Something.
the cutting contestant received the new Proctor Silex Lady Light Self Cleaning Super Steam Iron It Irons out for problems you've had with ironing. The Proctor Silex Lady Light and Brunch Cookery plus four more beautiful cookbooks from HP Books. Try Brunch for a delicious change of pace and easy entertaining. Good cooking begins with HP Books and American Tourist's Strong Lightweight Luggage. The prettiest piece of protection your clothes will ever get. You travel first class with American Tourister and a rechargeable sprayer in Thompson's Water Seal. Protects wood, concrete, masonry, and leather. And it drapes deep to stop moisture damage before it starts. Thompson's Water Seal. This is Gene Wood, speaking for Family Feud. I'm Mark Goodson, Bill Tudman Productions.